Hooray for DLC! Yay! Hello, hi, it's Casey here, and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick look through of the coming DLC to Age of Calamity and compare it to my predictions. If you haven't watched my DLC prediction video yet, make sure to watch it before this or a lot of things won't make sense. So let's just get this started then. So the purchase bonus is already out and oh my god. What a surprise indeed. A very basic costume and a very basic weapon for Link. Hooray! Okay, don't get me wrong, it's new content, which is great, but I wish it would have been something a bit more... unique? Like the Skyloft tunic would have been perfect since Skyward Sword HD release is just around the corner. But I guess not. And then just a basic sword. Again, just, 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 what, they had so many options and could have added any possible weapon, but they just decided to go with a bland sword which Link already has like 20. I mean, I, I guess the ancient guardian technology stuff makes sense since all that kind of stuff was in the teaser trailer. But the more the reason to add the Master Cycle Zero, what the heck? Hashtag missed opportunity. God. But I guess, I don't know, it seems to have some sort of lore purpose, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's just move on to wave 1, shall we? On wave 1, we are going to have new characters, new weapons, new challenges in the Royal Ancient Lab, and new challenging enemies. As for the new characters, they are most likely going to add the already existing characters Hura, Robbie, Suga, Aster and Harbinger Ganon. Suga, Aster and Harbinger Ganon are a bit iffy, but they are definitely going to be adding Hura and Robbie. I mean, they are literally there on the announcement screen and they were the most prominent characters in the trailer. If that's not a big clue, I don't know what is. As for their weapons, Robbie would probably utilize the thing on his back, which I mentioned in my previous video, or the ancient oven, which is a bit unlikely though, since it hasn't been created yet in that time period. Ah, the time traveling always makes everything so freaking confusing. <laughs> As for Pura, she could use a blue flame inspired weapon like the Fire Road from Hyrule Warriors, which I also mentioned earlier, or something that I actually missed when doing my other video. In creating a champion, there is an artwork with Pura having this intriguing Sheikah stuff, which could be a potential weapon for her. And then Suga would just use his Wind Cleaver lookalike, Aster his magical astral orb, and Harbinger Ganon some sort of corrupted Sheikah technology. Other new weapons could be the previously mentioned Master Cycle Zero, Horse, and the Travel Medallion. The next one is quite peculiar, as there are not many clues what it could be. The Royal Ancient Lab Challengers. Could it be something like the adventure mode from OG Hyrule Warriors or the challenge mode? All we know is that it has something to do with Pura and Robbie since the Royal Ancient Lab is their main base of operations and as I said they were heavily involved in the teaser trailer. And lastly we have challenging enemies. It is not clear if it means that brand new enemies are going to be added which are just gonna absolutely rumble everyone or just making the current monsters stronger and harder to defeat. Like they weren't hard enough already. I'm looking at you Linos. So in a sense like a hard slash hero mode from the previous games where enemies do twice as much damage and have twice as much health. Yeah, if that is the case, I am playing this at all or my Switch is just gonna end up smashed up on the wall. So this is what we have for June. And it already is June. <gasps> Time really flies fast, oh my god. Anyway, next we have Dave 2 which includes new character Vignette. What the hell is a Vignette? How do you even pronounce- okay, why take it to be so freaking extra? The Japanese one says that they're just gonna be new stories. Why take it and just put that there? Oh my god. 
Native English speakers, please somebody, somebody explain what the hell does a vignette mean? Cause like, Google ain't helping me. So anyway, new main story chapters, I mean vignettes. I feel that the most likely news storyline would be Aster's tale on his origins and how he came to worship Calamity Ganon. Another one could be something to do with Breath of the Wild 2. I mentioned this in my previous video that Wave 2 is coming out quite late for some reason, so it might have something to do with Breath of the Wild 2. Or maybe it's just my wishful thinking. Next is new stages. It is a bit unclear if it means those side missions to get like new items or unlock skills or tied to those vignettes. And we get new maps with the storyline. And then we get new characters, yes. So if we get all five previously mentioned characters in wave one, that gives room to some brand new characters. The most likely ones in my opinion are Paya, Cass, Bikango, Kilton and Bolson. Of course there are some others, but I'm not too strong about them. How they would be tied onto the story, that I don't know. But the new storyline could be a new crisis like the Wind Waker arc in Hyrule Warriors. And these new warriors are brought to this other Hyrule by Terako to help solve the predicament. And lastly, we have new battle skills for existing characters, most likely meaning that the weapons can be upgraded even more, which means that we're gonna get new side missions. So even though the purchase bonus was kind of a lackluster, I'm still very excited for the rest of the DLC. And who knows, maybe we could get more DLC in the future like with the OG Hyrule Warriors. Heck, they ended up porting that game to two other consoles, so everything is possible. Otherwise, Zelda's 35th anniversary has been pretty disappointing so far in my opinion. Since so far we have only gotten this DLC and Skyward Sword HD. And especially after the amazing treatment Mario got for its anniversary, it is just very disappointing that this beloved series is just being dragged in the mud. Many people thought that after Mario's public execution they would start to work on Zelda, but it has been more than two months and nothing has been announced, so I'm not having my hopes high. Many claim to have found leaks on possible new Zelda games and remakes like the Oracle games, but those just pop up all the time anyway, so I don't really bat an eye for that. But hey, E3 is coming, and I actually think it has started by the time I upload this. So maybe we'll get something new. Fingers crossed. Okay, don't come for me if they announce nothing. It is on them, okay? Also, I'm really sorry for being radio silent for these past months. There has just been a lot going on. I've moved to a new apartment and started going to school again. So haven't had that much time to focus on YouTube. But I have a few scripts waiting to be finished, so new videos will be coming up. Probably not soon, but there is not gonna be as long as a break as before. I, I promise you that. So I kinda made this video as a small update video on this channel and me to show that I'm still here and well to discuss the DLC, which we just did. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like to let me know. And if you're still here listening to me rambling about random stuff, you might like my content. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to find out when I upload next. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a lots of love. Bye bye!